to me, that's a nice starter just to get us kicked off or ticked off. But um, on this one, so now I've got a trinomial. And um, the first thing, I, you know, you can always stick to factoring by grouping. Okay, so if you're like, you know what, I don't really care if this is a, a perfect square trinomial or the difference of cubes or the sum of cubes. I don't care about that stuff. I'm just going to factor by grouping. Go ahead. That, that would work on this one because especially since we're starting with three terms. Um, we, we showed how to do it with two terms, but usually the 0x thing usually is a little disturbing and frustrating. So on this one, uh, you could check for perfect square uh, trinomial stuff, but 3 is not a perfect square. 4 is, so it's like, yeah, that's cool, but 3 is not. So, so yeah, you should definitely look for first for the greatest common factor, which there is none. Um, 3 and 13, both of those are prime, so um, we can't factor one out of the other. doesn't matter what 4 if, if four is. That 4 is divisible by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to find um, the product of the leading coefficient, 3, and then in this case the constant. It's just the final term. Sometimes it's coefficient. 4, 3 times 4 is 12, right? Now I need two factors of 12. So I'm going to split this back up. That add up to, it's negative 13 on this one, right? And that, that's going to allow me to split the negative 13 up into those two factors as two separate x terms. So I would start with 1 and 12. Well, that's no good. 1 plus 12 is 13. That, that should give us a quick hint. And just real quick, 2 and 6 isn't going to work because 2 plus 6 is 8. 3 and 4 is not going to work because 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, now don't stop there. Don't let it just that these are all net positives stop you because remember you can reverse this and say well what if I make both of these negative negative? and yeah negative 1 times negative 12 is still 12 so these two factors work and if I add them I get negative 13 right so my negative 13 X is I'm going to split up into and it doesn't matter how you do this but negative 1 X and I'm gonna make this one negative 12 X okay um, so my negative 13 X I've split up into these two separate terms then I've got my 3x squared, and then also the plus 4 to go with it, okay? And I, I've kind of purposely given myself a little space in between these, just so I have some space to work again, okay? Because I'm factoring by grouping, so I'm going to group the first two. And from those, looks like I'm going to factor out an x. Okay, so from that, from the first term, the 3 stays, but only one of the x, x's stays from the two x's there. And then from the minus 1x, uh, you know, some students don't like to show that one, but I like to see it now because I factored out this x, so I'm just left with the one, so I need it. Now, as we've seen before, this means that when I factor out from my second group, I'm expecting to see a 3x minus 1. That's what I'm expecting. I don't know if it's going to be, but I feel confident that it will. So from here, it uh, looks like, so the negative 12 is our, our first term in this group. Right, so this group right here. So I'm going to factor out first the negative, and it looks like I can factor out a, a 4. So x minus, uh, we're going to have the minus 4 there. So negative 12 divided by negative 4 would be 3. So we see it's starting to match already. 3x's. 4 divided by negative 4 would be negative 1. So that's, if you were concerned that this was plus, and how are we going to make that negative? It's because we factored out from the negative 12 and negative 4, which forced the plus 4 to become a minus uh, so they do match, right? So I, I can now factor out from both of those terms a 3x minus 1. And I am then left with what's left of the two terms, just like we saw in the last example, an, an x and a minus 4. Now, this is done, but you should check, right? 3x minus 1, I don't see any common factors I can factor out there. x minus 4, nothing common. If this was an x squared, then I'd have a difference of squares there, and I could actually factor that out more, but... It's not, so that's it.